gaseous ethane will react with gaseous oxygen to produce gaseous carbon dioxide and gaseous water. Suppose 0 0.500 grams of ethane is mixed with 4.20 grams of water. Calculate the maximum mass of carbon dioxide that could be produced by the chemical reaction. So the first thing you're going to do to answer this problem is to write a balanced chemical reaction. So according to the first sentence of the problem, our reactants are gaseous ethane, so that's C2H6 gas, plus gaseous oxygen, so that's O2 gas, and the products are gaseous carbon dioxide, that's CO2 gas, and gaseous water, so that's H2O gas. So as you can see, this chemical equation or chemical reaction is not yet balanced. So we need to put our coefficients. So please take some time to review balancing of chemical reactions because this will be very helpful in stoichiometry problems. So now that we have our balanced chemical reaction or chemical equation, we can now proceed to the calculation. So in the problem, we are given two reactants with different amounts. We have 0.500 grams of ethane and 4.20 grams of oxygen. So what you need to do now is solve separately. We will solve how much product can each reactant make? So let's start with 0.500 grams of C2H6. The first thing you need to do is to convert this into moles using the molar mass of C2H6. So one mole of C2H6 is equivalent to 30.068 grams. That's the molar mass of C2H6. So the grams would cancel out. Now you have moles of C2H6. Now, in the problem, we are asked about carbon dioxide. So look at the chemical equation, the balanced chemical equation. What is the ratio between C2H6 and carbon dioxide? So as you can see, there are two C2H6 and there are four carbon dioxide. So you put that into your solution. So two moles of C2H6 produces four moles of carbon dioxide. So the moles of C2H6 would cancel, and now you have moles of carbon dioxide. Finally, we need to convert this into grams of carbon dioxide using the molar mass of carbon dioxide. And the molar mass of carbon dioxide is 44.01 grams per mole. So you put one mole of CO2 below and then you put 44.01 grams on top. So the moles of carbon dioxide will cancel and now finally you have grams of carbon dioxide. Now if we solve this using our calculator we will get 1.46 grams of carbon dioxide. So the first reactant produces 1.46 grams of carbon dioxide. Now let's Let's proceed to our second reactant, 4.20 grams of O2. So we will do the same process or the same solution as what we did above. So first, you're going to convert the grams of O2 into moles of O2 using the molar mass of O2, which is 32 grams per mole. So the grams of O2 will cancel. Next, we look at the balanced chemical equation or chemical reaction. And according to the balanced chemical reaction, there are seven O2s 
and there are four CO2s. So you put that into your solution. 7 moles of O2 will produce 4 moles of CO2. So the moles of O2 will cancel. Now you have moles of CO2. Finally, same as what we did above, we will convert moles of CO2 into grams of CO2 using the molar mass of CO2. So the moles would cancel. And now finally, you can solve this in your calculator. And you will get approximately 3.30 grams of CO2. Okay, now this is the most important part of the calculation. If you look at the question, it's asking, calculate the maximum mass of carbon dioxide that could be produced by the chemical reaction. Remember, when the problem is asking for the maximum amount of product, it's actually referring to the theoretical yield. And how do we find the theoretical yield? Theoretical yield is always the smaller amount of product produced by the reaction. I repeat, when the problem is asking of the maximum amount, it's talking about the theoretical yield. And the theoretical yield is the smaller amount of product produced by the reaction. So in our solution, we got 1.46 grams and 3.30 grams. So between the two, the theoretical yield is 1.46 grams because it's the smaller amount. So the answer to this product is one to this question, sorry, is 1.46 grams of CO2. This is our theoretical yield and this is the answer to the question.